Occasionally, when you open and close drawings with different settings, you may experience missing your ribbon tabs or your shortcut keys. In this episode of Did You Know What Dan, I'm going to show you how to restore them. So I'll start with missing tabs. And in this case, I'm missing my Park Industries machine tabs. So we'll go and turn them on again. We'll choose the Add-in Macro tab so that we can open the Add-in Manager by clicking on the Add-in icon. In the window, we'll scroll down to Miscellaneous, which is under the Free Options on the left side. Open or expand Miscellaneous by clicking on the arrow. And here we can see PI Toolbars. We'll have to uncheck them to turn them off in the system, and then we'll click OK. It might take about 60 seconds to process all the information before the screen goes away. This takes 45 seconds on my new computer. And when this window closes, we'll go and open it again by choosing the File Manager, going to Miscellaneous, and turning on the Park Industries toolbar. Then when we click OK, it usually takes a short amount of time to process and turn our toolbars back on. There are also times that we may lose our keyboard shortcuts, like pressing D on our keyboard for delete. If the shortcuts are enabled, we'll be able to see them as we hover across the icons. If our normal Park Industries keyboard shortcuts aren't working, we can re-enable them by reloading them through a Park Industries customized file. If we find a command that we use often but doesn't have a keyboard shortcut, like Chamfer, we can add it in and create our own customized file. So in this example, we'll create a keyboard shortcut for chamfer, and maybe we use the ellipse command to draw different sized oval sinks. So we'll make a keyboard shortcut for that as well. There are a couple different ways to open our customized window. There may be a drop down menu at the end of our quick access toolbar where we can choose customize ribbon to open the customized window. Or, if we right-click on any of the tabs, we can choose Customize Ribbon as well to open the Customize window. And even though we chose Customize Ribbon, we can still find Keyboard in the menu of this Customize window. And when we choose it, we can see the area for key assignments over on the right. This is also where we'll find an Import button to import Park Industries Common Tool Commands. This file is saved in AlphaCam when your Park Industries toolbars are installed. When you select it and choose to open, it will import all of the common Park Industries shortcut keys. Another thing that we can do through this command window is to add shortcut keys. So let's open the Customize window again by right-clicking on an existing tab and choosing Customize Ribbon. And here again we'll choose to customize keyboard functions. The two commands that we're going to add keyboard shortcuts to are Ellipse and Chamfer. We'll start with Ellipse. I'm going to scroll through the category, and I have it set to all commands, so it takes a little longer, but then I can find ellipse. And when I select ellipse, I can see that there are no key assignments associated with it at this time. So we'll click into the Press New Shortcut Key area to make our cursive active. 
and I'll try the letter O, which to me means oval for an oval sink. And now I can press the assign button to assign the letter O to ellipse. And here I get a message that the letter O is already assigned. And if you're familiar with the common shortcut keys, you probably already know that the letter O is assigned to offset. And since I use offset quite often, I'm going to say no not to reassign the letter O. So I'll click back in here to make my cursive active, and I'll try the shift key by pressing and holding it down, and then the O key at the same time. And now when I press the assign button, I can see that it is added successfully into the key assignment area. And I'll click close to get out of the customize window so I can test my new keyboard shortcut. I'll press and hold the shift key while I tap the letter O and success, it opens the ellipse window. And now if I go hover the ellipse icon, I can see the shortcut that I've enabled. Now let's go add one to chamfer as well. So again, we'll go right click on a tab so that we can choose Customize Ribbon to open the Customize window. And we'll choose Keyboard. This time, instead of scrolling through all of the commands, I'm going to switch my category to Edit, since I already know that's where the chamfer command is located. As we can see, this way it's much easier to find. And when we select it, we can also see there are currently no keys assigned. I'll start by trying the letter C. And that's already assigned, we might already know that, to the command copy. So I'll click in here again to try Shift C, which is already assigned, Control C, which is already assigned, and Alt C, which is already assigned. So I may have to try a different letter. I'll try the second letter, the letter H. H is also already assigned, but Shift H does work. And I'll close out of the window to test it by pressing Shift H to verify my success with the chamfer command. Now that I've added in all keyboard shortcuts that I wanted to, I can save a backup of this configuration so that I can import them back into this PC or copy them out and import them to a different PC so that I can have the same settings. So I'll open the Customize window and I'll choose Keyboard and then go over to Export. I'll just use Dan's Setup for my name and then I'll choose to save it. So now I can select and import that file into this computer and I can also copy this file onto another computer to have the same setup there as well. Thank you for watching. Now you know what I know. One more thing. Did you know that we have hundreds of resources available on our website for machine training and service? To find them, go to parkindustries.com. Thank you for choosing Park Industries. Thank you.